start of turn three, Lilith has refreshed and taken her draw phase. So coming to resources, now the ruinous star spawn can actually come in um, by sacrificing cultists. So if Lilith uh, puts a um, resource here, she can bring in the star spawn by removing two cultists and bring in another cultist. So that's the maximum number of characters she can bring. <clears throat> so she first sacrifices these two. So obsessive zealot, he's gonna choose a character to go insane, and uh, he's gonna pick the stronger one with green. And uh, Gustav Johansson uh, triggers to draw for that one card, and then he's gonna go off, and the star spawn is uh, it's gonna come in. It says after you play. Choose a story, remove all success tokens from the story. So he's going to pick, again, up to us which rules we play here, but we're going to make him take off the story where the player had the most uh, success tokens. So he's in, and uh, we can drain this to main, bring in another cultist. So there we go. And uh, we can bring another... Um, horrific statuette. It's not uh, not a unique card, so we've got two two abilities here to use on cultists. And now observe that the ruinous Darsborn has uh, two terror, and uh, we can now activate pulled under. So we're going to do so, and we're going to get rid of. Uh, let's see, destroy a character who's exhausted. Ah, no, sorry. Witten Green is not exhausted yet, so we'll, he's going to save that for uh, next turn. Next turn we'll kill her. Alright, so story phase. So the player has two tier two combat. So story of priority, now that the player has no tokens, it's story number one. So two tier two combat. So our, our creatures or characters with uh, combat have terror, so we're going to basically try and get three combat in here. Um, if we take the ruinous star spawn, well, now the statue doesn't work with him. So I think we're going to have to put in the two big guns here to, to make sure we win this. So here we've got terror, we won't, uh, doesn't matter, and we've got four combat here. So that's good enough, and I think it's clear to see that Lilith can't go anywhere else. But she may be able to win investigation because the player doesn't have any investigation tokens. So she can bring in the obsessive zealot, knowing that she can uh, give him an uh, investigation icon. So that that she does. Player's side. Uh, I don't think we want to mess around in here because we'll just end up discarding cards with the alternative historian. So, uh, Arcane Phase, Lilith wins. She'll stand the best character, who's the Terror of the Tides, according to cost. And then uh, Arcane, now she's going to play this and switch the icon. Uh, oh, sorry, the according to action window, she should play that before the story begins. So let's say she already did that. Then she's going to win investigation, and uh, she's going to win the story, and it's unopposed. So she's she's actually won uh, story number one here. So let me just uh, bring these characters out first. And after you replace first the story, take all success tokens and redistribute them. So she's not going to bother with that. And. Uh, in comes the next story. But what she is going to do is trigger the dormant card, which is from the depth. So she gets to look at the top five cards of the deck and put all revealed characters in play, return the others to the deck in the same order. So here the cards are one, two, three, four, five. So she's got two uh, characters out of this, which is not bad at all. Lord of the Silver Twilight 
and uh, Dwellers Below. Again, Dwellers Below is a card who can be used to remove class 3 characters. And then the other, other cards go back to the deck in the same order. Okay, so that's uh, Lulith's turn concluded. Now the player's turn. <clears throat> see what can be done. Another story of Myra, Maya Bud reads well. Okay. So, well, what shall we do? I think we will. We don't like the Terror of the Tide, so maybe we'll put the Dark Contagion on it. And then, well, let's see. Let's play out uh, some of the biggest stuff first. So, Veil of Math allows us to uh, cancel the effects of an icon struggle. So, this one is a renewable resource, if you will. You can use it every turn. So, Lilith will factor it at each and every story, she'll assume it's going to happen. So. She's going to really have to win terror and combat knowing that one of the effects is going to get taken away. Then let's bring in an alternative historian, the second. And uh, wow, Ice Shaft, character with skill 3 or lower. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I think we do. So before this Dweller Below, uh, does something terrible. We're gonna bring it in and we're gonna use it to get rid of the uh, dwellers below. But note now, uh, now that there's an action window for uh, Lilith, so well, no, still can't get rid of uh, Wheaton Green because the ruinous star spawn is not uh, staying up, so cannot yet use pulled under in this instance. Okay, so player's story phase. We know we've got alternative historian and we've got the veil of math. So is there anything we can do here? We've also got Maya Badri who could come flying in if we want. So let's just tidy up uh, Lilith's characters a little bit. They're spread out all over the place. And Lilith has horrific statuette as well. The Lord of the Silver Twilight. So, yeah, I think again, we're not really in a position to go here and there, so we will pass the turn. And that's it, that's the end of turn three.